The US Army, a pinnacle of America's freedom across the world. And what symbolizes that freedom in the Army? Of course, our uniform. Our uniform is so respected from past and present soldiers that they wouldn't dare disrespect it, not even by wearing the wrong color undershirt. But if you were to wear the wrong color undershirt, someone could get you in trouble. Who could get you in trouble? I don't know, maybe a commissioned officer? Maybe an 06 colonel would put you in your place and say, you know what? Have some pride in your uniform, never disrespect it like that again. Unless you're wearing it to put on a leather dog mask, a bunch of chains to tie up junior officers you're fraternizing with to gangbang them in your garage, because that's A-OK. -okay. What's up, YouTube? Apparently there is a community. Um, first time I'm hearing of it, you've heard of furries, we all have. I've roasted them on my channel before, but there's pups, which are dudes who are wearing like leather masks and it's like a kink bondage thing. I don't know. Anyway, this is Pup Ravage. Pup Ravage is a very decorated soldier. In fact, he made it to 06, which means he's probably a commanding officer. He probably has thousands of soldiers underneath his command at one point in time. And he is decked. Look at, look at that ribbon stacked. This man has been in some shit and he's recently under some backlash because he's been uh, posting as an alter ego online as Pup Ravage. Now I'm not here to dox anyone because that's not my place. There's forums who've already found out who this guy was and the junior officers that are like getting gang banged in his garage while wearing the uniform. But that's not my place. Pup Ravage said, well, after nearly three decades in uniform, this old army dog is finally done. As of today, he's Colonel Ravage, US Army, retired. It's been a great run. Hashtag alpha pup, hashtag army pup, Hashtag proud pup, hashtag service dog. Now, you're probably thinking from the mask, what type of dog is he? Well, I did some research and it turns out that in his bio, he said, army soldier, alpha pup, fiercely protective, Belgian Malinois. What a surprise, chat. Who owns a Belgian Malinois? DWK videos himself. Eesh, eesh. Bobby, Bobby, are you part of my pack? Are you part of my pack, Bobby? <laughs> and as someone who has been an owner to a Belgian Malinois for five years, I think I can speak on this topic. Me and him know each other closer than anyone in this chat now. In fact, it's time to go for a walk. Excuse me. Get outside! No pissing in the house! Now this post brought to light how many of these people are in the military wearing the military uniform, right? You guys thought people thirst trapping in TikTok was bad, right? Some Marines taking off their blouse and, you know, flexing, you know, maybe it was bad. Now there's dudes just straight up getting rammed, getting rammed, and it's almost all, it's almost all army. Army, you got some explaining to do. Is this a recruiting effort? In fact, you know what? Pup Ravage probably isn't even into pup play. You know what? He probably got a billet to be a recruiter, and he said, you know what, numbers are down. I'm gonna hit an untapped community. I'm gonna big brain this, and I'm gonna bring in that side of 4chan, <laughs> that dark place on Reddit. I'm gonna get them aboard. You know what? My fit rep's gonna be insane. Now I know there's a bunch of pups that are gonna be in my comments saying they're gonna kill me, kill my family. Just like when I talked about the ABDL community, the adults that diaper play and play with their own shit and eat their own shit and pretend to be babies. You're probably gonna say, but you won't say to Pup Ravage's face. And I won't. This is a picture of him in some like cornfield. He's ripped. This dude's a, this dude could have been spec ops. Terrorist organizations are lucky. He was much more interested in pretending to be a Malinois than he was eliminating terrorist threats because you guys would all be done for. Like I'm not even capping, by the way, censor this future, future me editing this. Look at him just flexing in the, in the gym. Imagine walking into the gym as an E3 soldier. You just had the shit you know, smoked out of you because you forgot your cover in the shop and you walk in, you see your commanding officer wearing a pup mask, flashing his balls to the camera and flexing, bro. How demoralized would you be? Because you couldn't say shit other than, good morning, sir, Ra. <laughs> now, some of the confusing things uh, come from this because, you know, even for enlisted, they teach enlisted as soon as you join the boot camp, you cannot hook up with E6s, right? Because you're an E1, E3, even though you're just maybe four years apart in age, you can't hook up because that's fraternization. It, it discredits, it breaks that like leadership serve, you know, server bond. And uh, you know, you would think, okay, 
E E3 to E6 isn't even that big. It's not like a jump from O3 to O6. If pups come from a derivative of leather groups, they come from the war veterans movement. Alpha New 2021, page 32. I have four collared subs, three pups, and one boy in my leather family. We're all military. We understand each other like nobody else can. Hashtag leather family, hashtag shared oath. I would be fucking terrified if I walked in the locker room and I saw an 06 and his 03 officer hugging his leg like this with him just death gripping his shoulder. What's that movie where it's like it puts the lotion on its skin? That's the vibe I'm getting from this, bro. This is horrifying. This literally looks like it'd be a cover on the horror movies every October. You got fucking Michael Myers and then Alpha Pup comes to town. But Alpha Pup coming out about his retirement, uh brought some other people from Twitter that you wouldn't expect existed, but here's some of them with some good background music. One of the dudes that he's often seen with in photos is called Adjutant Pup. This pup is very excited to be departing South Carolina. It's been a rough six months. This puppy, however, graduated with honors and was recognized as one of the top dogs in class. Time for some much needed vacation before returning to the Aloha State. The only thing that's surprising about this, cause it's 2022, there's weird shit everywhere, right? The only thing surprising is that like three of these officers we're all geolocated near each other. Like, how is that statistically possible? They have to be in the 0.001% of military members, and they somehow ended up at the same base. And because they use, like, hidden profiles, how do they find each other? You know? How do you know the other person is who they say you are? And as an 03, this, this kid's probably, like, 22. How do you walk up to this almost 50-year-old plus colonel and be like, uh, sir, I'm respectfully checking in. Also, by chance, do you want to tie me up in a leather? I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts on doing kink sex play while wearing the uniform and still serving? Or what's your guys' thoughts on fraternization? Uh, you know, like fucking your junior officers? Or what's your guys' thoughts? Don't forget to subscribe with the post notification bell on. Leave a like because this is gonna get extremely downvoted as soon as anyone from the pup community finds this. Just like the ABDLs. It is what it is, boys. I'm sacrificing for you, alright? I'll see you guys on my Twitch live stream and uh, yeah, go team, fuck dogs.